guys, Mark Jonathan here. So, welcome back. <laughs> I am actually changing the name of when I do these drag repaints on the Barbies. Um, a few of you guys had suggested last on my Trixie Mattel video um, that I should rename it to a repaint, which I thought was super clever. So, I'm rolling with it. Okay, so for today's repaint, I decided to do a Barbie makeover inspired by Naomi Smalls. If you guys don't know who Naomi Smalls is, she was a contestant on RuPaul's Drag Race from season eight. She was in the top three with um, Kimchi and Bob the Drag Queen. And she's just really known for her kind of model-esque long legs and like she really takes inspiration from 90s supermodels which I always thought was really cool and I really loved her like aesthetic and the way she dressed and her long hair and um, for this repaint I was really inspired by her outfit and look that she did for the neon challenge and it just felt super Barbie. It was like clear PVC pink um, fabric and she had the blonde neon hair and it just loved the aesthetic of it and it felt like such a iconic look for her that I really wanted to do the Barbie repaint based on that. So for those of you who don't know what Naomi Smalls looks like, um, here are a couple pictures um, just so that you can see what her makeup aesthetic is and the way she dresses and then I'll also show you a couple pictures of the neon outfit that I was inspired by. So here you go. So now that you guys have seen what Naomi Smalls looks like and you kind of get the gist of what her um, makeup aesthetic is, now I'm going to show you what the doll looked like before. So for this doll repaint, I basically took two dolls and put them together. I looked for one that had similar features to Naomi's face that kind of helped as a good canvas for when I was doing the repaint. And then I also wanted it to have a little bit more movement, so I got one of those made to move Barbies and I found one that had a similar skin tone to the head so I just put those two together and then from there I did the rerouting and the outfit and the makeup. So this is what the Barbie doll looked like before which it looked like this. Okay now that you've seen what the Barbie looks like and what Naomi Smalls looks like I'm gonna walk you through my process of my repaint. I begin as usual by mapping out her eye shape. Now with pink and red watercolor pencils, I begin to draw in her waterline. Next, I begin to map out her eyebrows. Now with the chalk pastel, I begin to shade in her highlights. I use a shade of orange for her highlight because a white chalk pastel would totally make her look chalky. With a brown watercolor pencil, I begin to map out her cheekbones. And once again, you can never have too much highlight. With a tan watercolor pencil, I begin to shade in her nose contour. Yeah. 
With a darker brown pastel, I begin to shade in the darker parts of her face, just so that you get a little bit more contrast. I know it may look like I'm going overboard with the highlight, but trust me, in the end, it will look better. I begin to highlight a bit more after I sprayed another layer of MSC. As you can tell, the layers start to blend in together smoothly. Next, with a white color pencil, I begin to shade in her signature white eyeliner. Now with the orange color pencil and white, I mix them together to kind of pop her eyelids a bit more. With the white color pencil, I begin to shade in her signature nose contour. I begin to shade in the whites to define her eyes a little bit more. Sorry for my hair getting in the way. <laughs> I begin to do her eyeshadow with watercolor pencils and chalk pastels. Now I begin drawing in her signature eyebrows. They're super bold and super prominent. <laughs> Next, I begin to give color and detail to her eyes. Now I begin to draw in her individual bottom lashes. Now I begin to do the same steps on the left side. damn hair. I didn't realize how much my hair was in every shot. <laughs> now with acrylic paint, I begin to give her eyes a little bit more detail. Next, with white acrylic paint, I begin to highlight her eyes. Naomi seems to like a prominent upper lash, so I went in on them. <laughs> now, with the pink watercolor pencil, I begin to overdraw her lips like overdraw them. Big. Huge.
finally I go in with one last layer of highlight and then paint in her teeth. And she's pretty much done. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the original doll on the left and my repaint on the right. Okay guys, so that was my repaint of Barbie into Naomi Smalls. It was a fun challenge um, for me. I've never rerouted a doll's hair. That was interesting in itself and a lot of work. And then the outfit, like that was the hardest thing to get done. I had to, and I have to thank her, um, my mom, <laughs> for helping me out with the outfit. There was no way that I would have been able to do that without her. Doing an outfit in that size out of that plastic material is one of the hardest things. Um, so I have to thank her. Thank you, mom. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and liked the end result. If you did like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing on my channel with my video repaints and you want to see more, um, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. That way you'll be up to date with all my latest doll repaints and you'll get to see whatever the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so until next time, bye.